physical design of hearing aids has stayed pretty similar for ever. People associate it with, you know, being old or being infirm, where really it's just an amazing technology that can superhumanise your capacity to hear in the world. We've looked for expertise in producing the, the parts that are needed, chip manufacturers and plastic manufacturers. We've developed a new hearing aid so that people don't feel stigma, so that they find it easy to use, that they can afford. Glasses have become quite a fashion accessory. I'd really like to see hearing aids as something that people are proud to use. Of all the four million people in Australia who would benefit from hearing aids, only about one in five have actually done anything about it. So the impact is that your health deteriorates, find it harder work to go to social events, can become quite depressed. That in itself can cause cognitive problems and we know that not treating hearing loss increases your chances of getting dementia very significantly. When you want to do new and innovative things, then design is really at the core. What I hope is that, you know, the role of design in this project can really shift this technology from disability to desirability. And so, you know, users have this experience where they, they think this is a beautiful piece of technology, they really want to wear it, and they want to embrace it, and they no longer feel embarrassed or ashamed. The hearing aid that we've designed is faceted like a crystal. And it's really inspired by the crystal forms in the, the Melbourne Museum collection. And we want people to feel like it's, in, you know, it's a really precious thing. And then when I put it on my ear, I feel complete trust in it. This is a really collaborative project. We have design, audiology, engineering, and computer science working together on the project to deliver an amazing new technology. We also bring in audiologists and engineers on a weekly basis to look at the, the iterative models and to think about them from human experience points of view, technology points of view, engineering points of view. We're really excited to be working locally with the manufacturing, hoping to really transform the whole hearing aid industry. The future is not a visit to the audiologist once a, once a year or something like that, but doing things for yourself and seeing the benefits for yourself, that's an important difference about the next generation of devices. They're not stop gaps or band-aids, they're devices that enhance your quality of life.